Hey folks, welcome back to the farm. We have a shop project we're going to do today. It's for a couple of our tractor implements, so stick around. We'll show you what we're going to do. So whenever I try to come hook up to my angle blade and my landscape rake, they're down on the ground like this. And when you're by yourself hooking this stuff up, it's kind of a pain because you've got to like, get a board or something to prop these things up. So you can come on, even if you've got a quick hitch, these things need to be standing up level to where you can hitch them up. So we've got a quick fix that we're going to do. And it's easy and it's cheap right up our alley. So this is what we were going to make right here. It's called a drop leg stabilizer, a weld-on drop leg stabilizer. I was going to go get all the parts and make these things. I was going to use that square tubing that's got all the holes in it like they have for stop signs and stuff along the road. And then find a receiver that goes over the top of it, drill it, buy the pin, make a foot, all that stuff. So when I was talking about this one day, my phone was listening to me, I guess, and this is the next thing that popped up in my internet feed. So we'll show you what these are normally used for. So say this trailer was a lot longer and it was like a car trailer where you would load a car or a tractor or something like that on it. When you drive up on the back of the trailer, it puts a lot of stress on the tongue of your trailer and you obviously got to be hooked to a vehicle otherwise your trailer would fly up on the front so what you do on the rear of the trailer you weld those little jack stands and you put those down to the ground before you load anything onto your trailer and it doesn't put so much tension on your ball when you're loading and then you just pull the pin and slide those up again so when that popped up in my internet feed when I was just browsing around I think through Facebook or something like that $17. Like, wow, I can't build that for $17. It would probably cost me a couple hundred dollars just to buy the material to build two of these because I need two. So when I saw the price, I was kind of skeptical. So I looked at all the measurements. I checked out all the pictures, read through all the reviews, uh, checked all of the dimensions and everything, and it was going to work. Uh, I thought maybe it would be too short or something like that, but Everything seemed to work. So I ordered two of them, thinking that would take a month to get them. It only took like two days. They arrived like two days before what the delivery date showed. So it worked out pretty well. And then looking them over, it's pretty good quality stuff. So uh, these are ordered through eTrailer, like eTrailer.com. It's a website. They have everything trailer. They have quite a few items on there. I was pretty surprised some pretty neat stuff. If you're building trailers or fixing trailers or upgrading your trailer, they got just about every part you could imagine. They don't sponsor us, so don't think I'm doing this as a as a favor to them. But uh, ordered two of these up. I'm really pleased with the, the quality on these, and they are tall enough, so let me show you what we're going to do with it. So this is where it's going to go on my landscape rake. It's going to weld it right there into that corner, and I've lifted it up to where it's even with the top of this, and even with that, it still gives me like five more holes I can go down. So I wanted this level on the ground, so when we back up to it with the quick hitch, uh, it's already nice and level where it needs to be, and all we got to do is come up into it and pick it up, and then... Uh, once I've got this thing picked up all the way up the ground, I just come back, pull the pin, pull that foot up, and we're ready to go. So I've got two of these. I will leave the, uh, the link to where to find these in the description of the video. So if you're interested in something like this, I think they're $20 now. They've gone up a little bit, but still, for what you're getting and not having to manufacture that, that's a smoking deal. So I'm going to get the welder pulled over here. We'll get the, the framework here cleaned up so we don't have any issues welding. And we'll get this baby welded on. We're going to move it back a little bit. Instead of putting it in the corner, we'll move it back. We'll weld both sides because we had a clearance issue with the stand when we pulled all the way up. 
so it won't hit anything right there in that position and that'll still work just fine and that foot will come all the way up. All right, there she is. It's that easy. The stand sticks down a little bit, but it'll nowhere near interfere with anything when we're using this implement because that's as far down as it can go. So we're going to go up and get our greater blade. We'll bring it in here and do the same. This one we've located right here to the left side because if we put it in the middle and the post comes up it'll interfere with our top hook when we come in or when we 
put the stand up. So that's where she's going to go. That'll work just fine. We'll get that baby welded in. Right, we got this one done as well you want to make sure your quick hitch or your a-frame or whatever that is is pretty much uh, plumb vertically before you set the height of your stand that way when you come in your hitch is vertical and you've, you're lined up perfect when you come in Well, that's pretty slick if I do say so myself. That's going to make life a lot easier hooking these things up. Easy peasy project and cheap. That's the way we like it. Well, that's all she wrote, folks. Didn't take too long. I hope you enjoyed this little project. Hope it gave you a good idea for your implements if you having the same issue I was having. Again, I will put the link to these stands in the description. So all you got to do is click on it and you can find them. Like I said, they're about $20 now. They were $17 when I got them. Everything's going up. But still, that's dirt cheap. You cannot buy the materials for that. So till next time, stay safe, stay healthy. We love you guys. We'll see you next time here on Mark Kelly Farm.